Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm doing this video to uh, do an update since the uh, since my uh, cancer from the hospital. Right? I've been relieved from the hospital yesterday uh, on a continuous basis to do chemotherapy for the next six months. So pretty much every month I have to do between one to two more chemotherapies every month for the next six months uh, and ongoing if needed uh, because they wouldn't know if it spreads or not. Uh, they found out there was no reason for me to stay at the hospital because I'm strong enough to um, be independent but at the same time I still need to continue to go to the hospital on a daily basis almost to do follow up procedures with cleaning um, cleaning, you know, that and the, the pick line and then also continue doing blood work and uh, to flush out the pick line as well and, and then do chemotherapy at least once or twice a month and then follow up with uh, other procedures and testings to see if uh, the lymphoma doesn't spread in my body and if so, what other procedures needs to be uh, taken in order to prevent it from um, getting worse again. So, as far as I know for now, I'm just relaxing at home. In downtown. Uh, we'll be moving soon though. I'm gonna be going um, from this block and I'm moving two blocks down that way. Well, maybe you could see it from here. Uh, you see that brown building right there? That brown building? That's the building I'm moving into. Right, right. There. So I'm moving about two blocks away, but they have to install a new shower bathtub, which might take a month to two months. So until then, I'm still in this building, which is all right, but uh, it's just nice to get it over with. When I move into the new building, then I could just finally relax, buy some new furniture, and uh, give myself 110% focus on uh, my chemo treatments and recover from, from my cancer. So I won't be doing a daily video as I was doing every day in the hospital because I don't know, it, it would just get boring for everyone to see me saying the same old, same old, how am I doing and and just the same old procedures that no one would really care to watch so I'm gonna only be doing one video a week which basically I'll be going to do whatever I have to do at the hospital I've already recorded all that and then put it in one video at the end of the week and then post it uh, on, on every Sunday. So that way it's not a bore. I give you an update how I'm doing and uh, yeah, it just makes sense that way. And uh, at some point when I get my new camera, which I need to buy a new laptop, which I'm doing that too, uh, I just need to save up some money because, you know, when you gotta take care of your health, it starts to add up. And once I have my new camera, my new laptop, well then I can start doing better videos, better content, and uh, better editing, and then uh, I'll be uh, more, uh, more of a joy to watch instead of more of the same old, same old, same thing. So. But as for now, how I feel about after what I went through with my first two chemo, chemotherapies, uh, and then taking the antibiotics at the same time for my uh, for my cancer. Uh, it's not that I feel that I'm in pain, but it feels like my brain. It's not. It feels like mush, like jello. And you try to get two thoughts together, but then you feel like you just can't do anything, but then you want to do something, but 
uh, here's a good example. Uh, after my four days, or the two days I had chemo, this is the fifth day now, I think. Yeah, the fifth day of the, the, the two chemos. And my first bite, I eat something. It literally burns my mouth. It burns my mouth. It hits my nerves. Uh, it, it's like a shock in the jaw, in the mouth when I put something to eat or chew in my mouth, it goes instant burn sensation. And then it just, just shocks like all my nerves all over. And then it makes you want to like cry. It feels really painful. And then slowly the pain start, start, starts to subside. Then you can start eating the food. And then just like when you want to like relax, uh, your body feels like it's on morphine and even though you want to relax you just feel like you just feel like like you're over relaxed like your body can't just 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 shut off and sleep it just goes in over hype and then and then you can start feeling every sensation nerve and whatever in your body then the slightest movement or whatever you start to feel like a pinch or something and then your all your nerves and your body starts to go in shock and that's basically how it kind of feels when you're doing chemotherapy your, your whole body just it just feels like like mush like jello like 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 it wants to relax but it's too much but it's oh, this is just the beginning i still got six months to go at least the minimum six months and there's no guarantees of what is going to happen as the months go by from what they told me as the months go by when I'm doing chemotherapy my immune system will shut down and get worse and worse and worse I will start losing hair eventually uh, my skin will start getting more pale and my my nerves will start getting more in shock and it's not going to hurt more when I'm eating or when I'm trying to walk or do something so I hope that's not the case. I'm gonna try to drink a lot of water. I'm gonna try to eat as much food as possible and try to take as much as nutrients as I can in. But uh, there's no guarantees what's gonna happen between now and six months during the process of uh, the chemotherapies and the other the other antibiotics I have to take along the way. So, as I said, I will be doing a weekly update every Sundays. And hopefully things work out for the best, which I hope that's the case. So, because my mom had three best friends, one which was Labrini Takuras, and her three best friends was Vula, Liza, and Ariti. And all three of them had cancers and passed away, unfortunately. And then over the 11 years that I've seen my mom go through this, uh, no matter how much you fought cancer, it always seemed to come back. And most people say in my case, it could be a little different, it might not come back, but when you start seeing family members and friends continuously, the cancers keep coming back over and over and over again. You start to think to yourself, so even if I beat this in six months and it's gone, there's a better chance it's going to come back again in a few short years or five years or ten years. Uh, and then you start to think to yourself, how am I going to keep doing this over and over and over again? Which even going through this the first time, it's already difficult enough. But that's just like things behind my mind, right? Because I also want to continue living my life. I want to have family. I want to have kids. I have big ideas of what I want to do to help the community, make this a better place. And when you have little thoughts like that, always like your own health, always, you know, getting you know, getting worse, then uh, it starts to leave thoughts in your mind that I, it's hard to do everything and then think about your health and then stops everything from your life what you want to do and then it becomes complex and then... But yeah, things like that go through my mind all the time, but... Yeah, I'm going to um, inform you guys again on next Sunday to give you an update on how I'm doing. And until then, as I say always, uh, if you can, get out there, help others. Uh, everyone needs a hand, everyone needs help, doesn't matter if they're a relative, a friend, or a stranger. 
And uh, anything you could do in your part to make someone's life always better without anything in return, that's a godsend and uh, it makes you a person that truly makes you a, a saint of helping others continuously. Even if you have nothing, if you could just give even your time to make someone's life a little better, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Because if you make their day better, they're going to turn around and see for who you are as a true saint, and then they'll never forget it. And even in your worst days, they'll come around and help you when you need it the most too. So, until next Sunday, see you then.